there isn't any connection with observation. Is it supposed to be a theory of the way the world operates? So if that is the beginning, if there was no time before that, then I don't know how to explain the fact that it was so special. All hell broke loose in the physics community. And if the number of dimensions of space is just wrong, I can't take it seriously. Embark on a cosmic journey with physicists as they unravel the mysteries of our universe. Imagine a singular theory that not only explains the grandeur of stellar galaxies, but also delves into the enigmatic world of quantum substances. This quest for a unified theory, revered by physicists, goes beyond atoms, challenging the very essence of our reality. In this episode, we'll explore into the smallest scale, where dark matter and dark energy play a significant role. The tantalizing promise of a deeper theory beckons, promising to reshape our understanding of reality and consciousness. It's a cosmic adventure that transcends the limits of our current comprehension. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space, and beyond, consider subscribing. Imagine yourself in a room, isolated and confined. Although a world exists beyond, you are unable to step into it. However, the external realm is not entirely out of reach. Multiple windows in your room provide glimpses. Let's briefly describe two windows that offer contrasting perspectives on the same reality, the quantum window and the classical window. Think of quantum physics as a window revealing the true nature of reality, exposing the hidden beauty of the universe. Yet, unlike our previous assumptions, this quantum window presents a dynamic world, constantly changing and filled with possibilities and probabilities. It challenges predictability, allowing particles to exist simultaneously in two places and emphasizing the impact of observation on experimental outcomes. The quantum window doesn't directly unveil reality, but distorts it into a process-able vision, shareable among individuals in similar rooms. Picture the quantum window as a stained glass kaleidoscope introducing symmetry and paradoxical perspectives. While not entirely false, it provides clarity in certain aspects compared to the classical window. However, the classical window, a long-standing tool in scientific progress, presents a filtered and somewhat deceiving perspective of order, predictability, and control. While beneficial for various advancements, it lacks the nuance to capture the universe's intricacies. Both windows, quantum and classical, provide distinct yet limited viewpoints on reality. The quantum window delves into the universe's extremes, while the classical window simplifies our immediate surroundings. Despite their contributions, neither fully grasps the universe's complexity. Understanding the cosmos requires specific tools, like quantum field theory, a blend of classical field theory, special relativity, and quantum mechanics for atoms and subatomic particles. Meanwhile, classical physicists prefer the general theory of relativity for larger objects. The challenge lies in merging these well-functioning theories into the elusive theory of everything especially when addressing phenomena like black holes and the Big Bang, which currently pose difficulties due to their independent nature. The question arises, is the theory of everything inherently complex, or does complexity emerge only when attempting to merge existing formulas? Let's break down the mystery that's been keeping us scratching our heads for ages, quantum gravity. So we've got Einstein dropping general relativity in 1915, and the 1970s bring us the completion of quantum field theory. Sounds like a powerhouse duo, right? But hold up, why haven't we cracked the code yet? Now it's easy to throw shade at the idea that maybe we're missing some genius figures like Einstein or Heisenberg today. But truth be told, we're not just riding on their coattails. We've got a whole army of brilliant minds, thousands of Einsteins, all armed with the latest tech. So, if it's not a lack of brain power or tools, what's the hitch? Here's the culprit, gravity. It's like the heavyweight champion of forces, weak yet dominating the entire cosmos. This force plays a starring role in mind-blowing events, like black holes and other cosmic shenanigans. To wrap our heads around it, we need to dive into the quantum world, the micro-universe. 
check this out. Quantum effects don't throw a party in our bodies or massive things like Earth. Nope, they shine in the realm where classical physics throws in the towel. Enter black holes, where colossal mass crams into a tiny space. Now, you might ask, how do we experiment with black holes? Good question. Turns out, creating one in a lab is a bit tricky. Even CERN, our go-to science hotspot, falls short. But don't lose hope. We've got another cosmic detective hotspot. Ever wondered about the Big Bang and the baby universe? Enter the cosmic microwave background, our constant companion in space. It's like a map of the universe's first moments, a light show that's been going on for about 13.8 billion years. Gaze at this cosmic map, and chaos seems to reign, irregular and resembling a light version of the double-slit experiment where photons dance with randomness. Yet these waves and uncertainties unveil the quantum realm's secrets, reflecting a cosmic order during the universe's infancy, smaller than an atomic nucleus. Deciphering this map could unlock profound mysteries, potentially solving the elusive theory of everything. It's like exploring the universe's baby album, observing the behavior of particles when the cosmos took its first steps. Our cosmic magnifying glass hones in on this map, decoding the universe's hints, one cosmic puzzle at a time. Despite physics' persistent efforts, we grapple with the implications of theories, especially in probing ripples from black hole mergers or neutron star collisions. The challenge? Spotting gravitons within gravitational waves, elusive particles smaller than the Planck length, minutely dwarfing atoms. To contextualize, the Planck length makes atoms seem as vast as the solar system. Should we defy the odds and detect gravitons? A physics revolution beckons pushing us to reassess supposedly accurate formulas and theories. Stay tuned for the cosmic revelations that might reshape our understanding of the universe. Now, let's delve into our final frontier, string theory, a dedicated approach to tackling quantum gravity. String theory's roots extend to the 1960s as physicists grappled with understanding hadrons, particles composed of quarks bound by the strong nuclear force. Mesons, combinations of quarks and antiquarks, hinted at quark connections through strings during physicists' exploration. Originally focused on describing the strong nuclear force, the theory shifted to quantum chromodynamics, when unexpected vibrational modes, later identified as particles, emerged. The gravitational puzzle deepened with the search for the elusive graviton. String theory seemed to offer a solution, but the graviton's appearance in hadronic strings posed a mystery leading to the theory's abandonment in the 70s. A surprising turn came when scientists realized that string theory's mathematics could describe quantum gravity. After extensive mathematical efforts and adjustments to the initial hadronic string theory, the breakthrough emerged as bosonic string theory, unifying all physical laws but introducing a perplexing additional 22 dimensions to our three spatial and one-time dimensions. This scientific journey reflects puzzlement over existing ideas failing to account for both force-carrying particles, bosons, and matter's building blocks, fermions. Enter supersymmetry, aiming to unite fermions and bosons in a comprehensive theory. Fermions, the minuscule building blocks, and bosons, force carriers, found common ground in superstring theory, a fusion of supersymmetry and string theory. The revolutionary concept suggested a partner for every boson and vice versa, condensing dimensions to 10 and prompting the superstring revolution, featuring one-dimensional quantum strings dancing in 10 dimensions of space and time. This mind-bending journey through string theory unfolds as scientists strive to decipher the intricacies of our universe's fundamental nature. Now, in physics, duality happens when different math ideas describe the same things. Superstring theory brings five superstrings to this duality party. Fast forward to 1995, physicist Ed Witten bundled these string theories into something called M-theory adding an extra dimension for a total of 11 dimensions. M-theory throws in a twist, 
supergravity and supermembranes. It stretches those tiny quantum strings into membrane-like structures scattered throughout the universe, forming a hyperspace with attached universes. This puzzle makes up the multiverse, with one of these universes being ours. But here's the catch. M-theory is like a complex skeleton, and despite finding dualities and hints of supergravity, the core is still a mystery. Even with our best physics theories, understanding M-theory is like chasing a cosmic cat's tail. String theory, however, sheds light on gravity's dance, suggesting it stretches through different brain universes, playing with other dimensions. String theory dives into the universe's birth, suggesting universes emerge from collisions or separations of cosmic brains, a unique take on cosmic creation. However, despite its math charm, there's no concrete proof. Famous for its math mojo, string theory lacks evidence for those extra dimensions. Tiny quantum strings, elusive as a needle in a cosmic haystack, demand a collider a million times stronger than the Large Hadron Collider. Predicting extra dimensions in Kalabi Yao shapes, String Theory's cosmic puzzle offers over 10 to the power of 500 possibilities, each implying different string behaviors. It's a journey of math twists, cosmic dimensions, and a quest for hidden evidence. Stick around, cosmic secrets unfold. Facing challenges, String Theory holds hope in proving supersymmetry, solving physics model issues, and detecting predicted extra dimensions. The theory's idea that gravity's weakness lies in operating across dimensions aligns with string theory. If a graviton, gravity's force carrier, moved between dimensions, it could seem like energy vanished in experiments. Despite being beyond our tech reach, string theory provides intriguing views and potential insights. While its destiny as the theory of everything remains uncertain, it's a crucial step, dividing the universe for quantum gravity exploration. A challenge persists, keeping particles like gravitons in one place, a chaos of uncertainties. All particles to the universe is information, unraveling reality's fundamental nature. This informational view simplifies complex physics, providing cosmic insights. It makes an observer-independent reality unsustainable, tying reality to experiences as active observers. Collective agreement on information forms shared reality. While we navigate through senses and interpret with consciousness, the true nature of our perceived reality remains uncertain. Scientific pursuit reveals every theory's counterpart urging us to decode the universe's answers in our cosmic journey.